Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the DevOps Shop. Today we're taking a look at the fascinating world of DevOps, exploring its roots and understanding how it has become a game changer in the tech industry. So grab your virtual shovels and let's dig into the origin of DevOps. Today we'll explore the challenges of the siloed past, the impact of the agile movement, and the birth of DevOps in 2009. Our journey continues with a look into key DevOps principles, insights into notable figures, and an exploration of the three ways. Finally, we'll touch on DevOps in action through real-world examples from tech giants. But first, what exactly is DevOps? DevOps is not just a buzzword. It's a culture and a set of practices that brings together development and operations teams to collaborate and deliver software more efficiently. To understand DevOps, we have to go back to a time when development and operations teams lived in separate silos. Developers focused on writing code, while operations teams were tasked with deploying and maintaining that code in production. This division often led to misunderstandings, delays, and, well, chaos. Enter the Agile movement in the early 2000s. Agile methodologies aim to improve collaboration and responsiveness in software development. It emphasized iterative development, and teams found themselves working more closely together. But there was still a gap between development and operations. DevOps has emerged as a response to this gap. The term was coined around 2009, and its goal was to bridge the divide between developers and operations, promoting a collaborative and communicative environment. DevOps is built on three key principles. Automation, streamlining repetitive tasks to save time and reduce errors. Collaboration, fostering a culture of open communication and shared responsibility. Continuous integration and deployment, ensuring a smooth and continuous delivery pipeline. Now let's talk about some key figures in the field of DevOps. Patrick Dubois, often recognized as the father of DevOps, and Andrew Clay Schaefer, a pioneer in DevOps thinking, coined the term CAMS culture, automation, and measurement. They emphasize the cultural shift needed for successful DevOps adoption. Other influential figures include Gene Kim, author of The Phoenix Project, a seminal work in DevOps literature, and Jez Humble, who wrote Continuous Delivery, a book that has greatly influenced the DevOps movement. Their work significantly contributes to the understanding and implementation of DevOps principles. Gene Kim, just mentioned, introduced the three ways. These are principles that guide DevOps practices. The first way, the flow of work, is about optimizing the process from development to operations and back. The second way, the feedback loop, establishes a feedback loop for constant improvement. The third way, the culture of continuous experimentation and learning, refers to encouraging a culture of innovation and learning from failure. Fast forward to today, and DevOps is everywhere. It's not just about tools. It's about fostering a collaborative mindset. Companies like Netflix, Amazon, and Google have embraced DevOps, achieving remarkable feats in terms of rapid innovation and reliability. NetDevOps, an offshoot of DevOps, focuses on incorporating automation and continuous deployment methods for networking tasks. At Cisco, we are not just utilizing NetDevOps for improved efficiency, but are also promoting its principles to drive innovation and reliability on a large scale. Cisco's commitment to NetDevOps is a testament to the growing influence of this approach in the networking industry. So there you have it, folks. The origin of DevOps. It's a journey from silo teams to a collaborative culture, from manual processes to automated pipelines. DevOps isn't just a methodology, it's a mindset that continues to shape the way we build and deliver software. Until next time, happy coding. Thanks for joining us on this exploration into the origin of DevOps. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends or colleagues. Until next time, you can find us in the DevOps group hub. We're in the developer hub in the Cisco community.